All right, so here's 541 Maxim, and today we'll be discussing the high standard model HD military. This has got a five and a half inch barrel. As you can see, it's unloaded. The magazine is taken out. One thing I wanted to show you right off the bat is when I find where I put it. Magazine's out. <laughs> So, this is a standard magazine that came with the weapon, right here. This is one I bought afterwards. Alright, so I'm going to put one round in. I say one round. And you'll see every time. Every time it does that perfectly. So now I'll take the round out, put that up. Pull the magazine out, the original one. This is Same 22. This magazine came from a company called SN <clears throat> SNG and SP. It's in Florida. Now they claimed that this weapon, this magazine, would work correctly, and it was a $49 waste of money. And I'll show you why. <clears throat> Still weapon every new one. Go to chamber of the round, and you'll see, you pull it back, and it actually worked this time. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, see, it didn't. Still not down. Still not in. Still doesn't go in. I don't know if you can see that. So what the problem is, is that when you let the slide up, well, when you do it slow, this is what happens. Every time, usually, except for when you just saw it, <laughs> it sticks right like that. And what I found, what I've come to realize, is that the <clears throat> this magazine doesn't hold the bullet up high enough to pick up right there. It doesn't pick it up, so that doesn't work too well. Just wanted to show you that. I'm not saying that the companies that I bought the magazine from is bad or not, it's just, it doesn't work. So, I'm going to have to spend 80 or $90 on an original one, like this one, so it will function properly. Now, the problem I'm having with this weapon right now is... is that, uh... Last time I went prior and shot it, this thing would uh, fire one round, but every time it would come back, like now it just the hammer stays back, but it normally it doesn't. It would always go like that, close. Now you could sit there and pull the hammer down every time and squeeze, and it would go off. Now on the second magazine I ran through it, I ran into the problem that it discharged several weapon or uh, rounds at one time like three to five went off at one time went, Brr! which is kind of cool actually but uh, seeing I was not supposed to do that it wasn't the grit what I was looking for so another magazine another YouTube video that I saw that um, discussed this talks about how to, you know, field strip it. Again, it's empty. Oh, no magazine. About using this little pin right here. Now mine, or with my father's who just gave it to me recently, pull it back, chamber it, or, you know, and then all you have to do is just hold it, hold the pin down, slide it back. Uh, I think that's how it goes. Now do it. And 
and you oh there you go and it comes apart now he's talking about the spring sticking right down in here hopefully you can see that uh, which you know it, it would the pin came up it didn't hold it down but it's a simple little fix you just take it and cram it forward all the way oops try not to scratch it or whatever See, there it is. If you can see down in there, right down there, there's a little little piece of metal actually that this pin holds down and once it's got some pressure against it, there you go, it's open. No problems. This is actually pretty simple to take apart, but I'm not going to do that right now. I just wanted to show you the difference, differences of it, how easy it is. Oh, plus I got this, mag this uh, rear sight you see it like that I've not seen one on any other ones I don't know what's up with that but it's pretty accurate though I'll say that much now I took this thing already all the way apart and it uh, didn't have nothing to do with this like I said it's firing multiple rounds at one time so what I'm going to do is take apart the sear which is basically take the screws out of here. Do, do. But I'm going to do that in a different video after I do it once to make sure I can do it. Like I said, I just wanted to show you th this the magazines. If you put this back together correctly, that down. What? Right. As you can see, I haven't done this quite a bit, so it's, it's a little bit. Yeah, that's another little thing too that's kind of pissing me off. You see this little bearing right here? I can see that, but there it is. This actually goes right there. And for some reason, then. It has a tendency to fall out. So there's a little bitty spring right down there. You can, you can see that? Yep, there's a spring right there. And it goes right in here, but for some reason, I think I'm gonna have to get a whole new spring set up for this. The funny thing I thought about this weapon is that uh, my dad's had this ever since I was a little kid. I mean, little, little, and he's never fired it ever. I mean, maybe once or twice, and he's just never do the time to get it fixed. Um, and I'm kind of surprised at the amount of difficulties I'm having with it considering the amount it has not been fired really. So there's that. <sighs> I'm wrap this thing back together. Oh, that was simple. That's forward, so that's correct. Okay, anyway, I just wanted to show you that, and I'm going to take this apart now, completely, and see what I can find. Hope that works for you.